Hi, and welcome to the first decorate with me of this season. For today's video, we're gonna be decorating the upstairs to so this loft area and then the bedroom. That was the before shot. It was a disaster because this is right where the attic is. And so when we brought everything out of the attic, we just kind of like threw it into this room. The first thing I did was set up the tree. I like to set up the tree first because they're big and they take up a lot of space. And also because, you know, it's just the most obvious thing to do. So this is the tree that used to be our downstairs tree until last year year and it, it it was a little bit more work than it used to be because a lot of the lights have gone out it's just like from big lots I don't know five six years ago like it's it's been a while so there was that um I got to work adding some more lights and then here I am adding some ribbon I already had these cut from previous years and I have them cut in like 18 inch sections I'm gonna go way more into ribbon in the next decorate with me so I won't bore you too much with it here, um, but basically I just kind of weave in and out the ribbon and each one kind of gets like two little, I don't even know what you call them, like billows out. And I like to layer it with two ribbons on top of each other. Next up, I'm doing the biggest ornaments. So I have these large candy candies. I actually got those from... Um, Cracker Barrel last year and they make such a huge difference. They're just so fun. I like that they're not like a normal shape. And so once I did those, I went with the extra large red and white ornaments from Hobby Lobby. And then after I do that, I'm going to do everything else as filler. With these big ones, I really pay attention to trying to like space them out, even them out. I do kind of like a triangle shape down the tree. Um, so it kind of draws your eye across the tree back and forth in like zigzags. Um, and then with all the smaller ones, I just treat them as filler and I just kind of go through and see where, you know, we need a spot for this, that, or the other. I definitely didn't spend nearly as much time on this tree as I did on the one downstairs, which will be up soon, but that's okay because this one's one smaller and two, we're not going to see it quite as much. This decor might look really familiar for years. We've done this red and white theme for our downstairs, like big main tree and like leaning into the candy canes and the candies and all that kind of stuff. And this year we're switching it up. So downstairs has a whole new theme. And because of that, we moved all of this red and white to this tree upstairs. And I really like it. I feel like it pops better because our downstairs tree is flocked. And so the white kind of like blends in with it and so on this green tree the white actually shows up a lot better and the red pops really well and so I just really like the vibes of this tree even though it's upstairs I see it every day though since it's in our little loft area I just put a little like bow thing up on the top we've had those forever I think they're from AC Moore which is an art store that doesn't even exist where we are anymore so I don't know if it exists anywhere else. Um, I added a couple things off camera to these bookshelves and that is all for today. The room's not done but for today it's gonna be done because you know I just haven't gotten back in there. Next up we're doing the bedroom. For the bedroom I am getting I got all new things this year so we're going with like a blue and green and gold theme so I got those ribbons from Michael's I got these extra large ornaments from big lots of all places and then I got all of these ornaments from Michael's they're all glass which feels a little bit crazy to me because our whole house is plastic ornaments but we'll see how they go I love those they're like navy but they're like velvet we also have some like the same ones that are like red velvet in another spot and then we did the gold those plastic ones are from home oh, no hobby lobby this tree is from michael's it is new this year and it's a pencil tree i really like the look of these trees they have this one they have a flocked one too that i have in other areas of my house and they're just they're really inexpensive they're good quality and they don't take up a ton of space which is really nice for like a bedroom tree because you don't need a ginormous tree in your bedroom well you don't really need one at all but that's okay for this one i did the ribbons going up and down the tree and i did the gold on top of the velvets i basically did like blue all the way down and then I did like green all the way down next to it so I kind of alternated with the blue and the green and then I used those same ribbons to make a bow which I'll show in my like main decorating video for the downstairs tree um, and put that up on top and you'll be able to see it in a second. 
I'm loving the vibes of this tree, just like the blue and the gold and the velvet. It's just really like nice and cozy for our bedroom and it looks very different from anything else. I ended up not using any of the ornaments we had from last year, so we've got that going for us, but it just looks so pretty. And these skinny trees don't take too many ornaments, which is also really handy because, you know, just it, it can it can be a lot so it's nice to have these that are much quicker because they just don't have as much space so you don't have to put as many on there you can see i still load it up pretty well but it doesn't bow next up we are doing the comforter we got some new sheets so those are from just like marshall's and then we got this beautiful green and blue black watch comforter it's from the biltmore collection at belk which i am absolutely obsessed with so got to work making the bed adding all the pillowcases to our 8,000 pillows added these containers which spoiler aren't there anymore because i knocked one of them off of the dresser and it shattered so i moved the other one to a safer location and here is the final look in the bedroom thank you for watching and i'll see you next time